The Braxton Creek Bushwhacker Plus 17FL is cozy, comfortable, and cute. It's a great little trailer for a relaxing getaway. And to make sure that those getaways stay relaxing, here are some tips and hacks to help you get the most from your Bushwhacker Plus. The pass-through storage is decent, although a bit on the shallow side. Make sure your storage bins are appropriately sized, long, low, and flat. For privacy, and to keep the blazing desert sun to a minimum, we fabricated a shade for the front door. It attaches with Velcro, so it can be easily removed. Although tiny, the interior is cleverly designed. Pleasing neutral tones offer a blank slate for those personal design touches that transform the space into a home. We watched another YouTuber. I can't remember his name. He had the bunk bed model for his family of four. We adopted a few of his hacks, like the raised mat for the bathroom floor, which was brilliant, and command hooks, which are a godsend. The bathroom is tight, almost too small for normal people. In order to keep our teepee clean and dry in the combined commode and shower, we repurposed a large, wide-mouthed plastic container. The raised mat doesn't really keep the shower floor all that dry, but it is non-slip and it looks amazing. The kitchen features a two-burner stove, and the first thing we did was cover it with foil. This is admittedly not beautiful, but considering how much we like our bacon, it helps keep it clean. We all know the importance of practicing proper hygiene. As the tiny bathroom stall has no sink of its own, one must step into the kitchen to wash their hands. We dedicated a hand towel for this purpose, in addition to a separate dish towel. There is no real counter space to speak of, but it's easy enough to cover the burners with something that can give you room to work. A cutting board or even a tray will do the trick nicely. We also found a fantastic folding dish rack that tucks away almost flat when not in use. You need to make the most of your limited storage space in such a compact trailer. One cupboard, the cabinet under the sink, the shelf above the bed, and the space below the bench seat. The trailer doesn't come with an oven unless you're counting the microwave. Since we never microwave anything, we use the space for extra storage. We always bring our toaster oven from home, which fits nicely in the cabinet under the sink. The refrigerator came with a locking mechanism that was so awkward that we replaced it with Velcro strips. It will hold quite a bit, provided that your items fit the dimensions of a 12 ounce aluminum can. If you need to adjust the temperature, Bear in mind that the lower the number, the colder the temperature, the opposite of what you might expect. The fridge doesn't have a freezer compartment, so bring a cooler for your large items and anything else that you'll need to keep on ice. Although the storage beneath the bench seat is surprisingly generous, it's a major hassle to get in and out of once you've set up camp. I recommend that you not use this space to store anything that needs to be accessed on a daily basis. Use this space to store your extra linens, extra clothing, or extra provisions when on those extra long trips. Hang bags from your handy command hooks to keep things off the floor, off the bed, and away from your seating and surface areas. Do your best to keep the clutter to a minimum Having all your gear and provisions organized, out of the way, yet still within easy reach, will keep your trailer cozy and relaxing. Along with the bench seat, the 17FL features a very comfortable recliner chair. The designation FL means front living room. Adding to the ambiance is a neat little folding table. To maximize every possible inch of storage space, we repurposed an automotive seat back caddy bag concealed behind the shelf above the folding table. We use its compartments to store our level, 
scissors, and miscellaneous items like the fly swatter. Also below the folding table, we designated a place for the trash. Reusing our plastic grocery bags and attaching them to the caddy bag with wire ties. Convenient, cheap, and most important, out of the way. Also in the space below the folding table, we keep a box stocked with things we need to access on a daily basis. Our toothbrushes, toiletries, even our supply of extra trash bags. The built-in shelf above the bed is a nice touch, but in my opinion, neither deep nor wide enough to be workable as storage space. Using cardboard boxes, we fabricated shelves that will hold a bit more while improving our organization. Our personal shelves hold two or three changes of clothing. The green bin is for our medicine cabinet and first aid, while the white bin contains our electronics. When in transit, I cover the bed with a clean sheet. I place all our shelf boxes and bags on the first half of the sheet, then use the second half to cover everything up and keep it in place. All our things are right there and easy to put up when we set up camp. Be advised that the bed is the shorter trailer queen size, and being wedged in the back, it's tricky to fit the sheets around the corners. With the extra foam mattress and topper, our bed is super comfy. On the plus side, the trailer's neat design makes the bed feel like you're in separate sleeping quarters. Unfortunately, two persons sharing such a space will no doubt encounter some challenges. While comfortable, it is a far cry from your bedroom at home. The counter above the refrigerator has two electrical outlets and two USB ports to keep your devices and Wi-Fi router charged. There is a third electrical outlet at the AC unit and a fourth over by the kitchen sink. The trailer comes equipped with a built-in stereo. However, it lacks an auxiliary input, so if you want to use an iPod or MP3 player, you need a backup system, such as our powered computer speakers. The air conditioner is powerful and works well, and the fantastic fan really keeps the airflow circulating. We still have yet to use the furnace. Our number one tip for enjoying your Bushwhacker Plus is for you to establish your side room. A simple screen house will double your living space while enhancing your enjoyment of the great outdoors. Our screen house costs only $100 and sets up in one minute flat. The convenient outdoor electrical outlet is perfect for powering the appliances in your side room. With your HDMI ready TV, you can enjoy movie night, or you can even set up your gourmet outdoor kitchen. Ours is still a work in progress. I hope you enjoyed this video on how we travel with our Bushwhacker Plus 17FL. And thank you so much for watching. For more stories about our travels, check out my book, Bullhead, How We Escaped California and Found Our American Dream, available wherever ebooks are sold. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content from the Middle Room Studio and Mac Lane River.